So welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning in this evening. Uh, today is August the 2nd, 2020. It's amazing how time flies. It's already the beginning of August and pretty soon will be um, September, October, and then Christmas will be here. It's like this, this year as it's just flying by. So you have come to uh, Korea Channeling and I uh, just want to give a brief ex explanation about who Korea is. Korea is an, um, <clears throat> hmm, it's a helper spirit, meaning that um, Korea has never been incarnated um, in any planet as a um, humanoid or uh, like it's is not there are I, I would say roughly two types of of souls there are souls who are um, incarnating and and exploring so and and learning and so that's one one type of souls and then there's another type of souls is really the helpers they help to prepare the planets they help to um guide they help in a lot of different ways to help the the souls that wanted to have different experience and to really um remember who they truly are as divine source so they would go and incarnate on different planets and the helpers would be the ones that would be um preparing the planets and doing all sorts of um things like um really taking care so that the souls that wanted to incarnate and have all sorts of different experience would be able to have a smooth transition from from uh, planet to planet and all those things so that when they are in a a body that is not um so they can always be able to um co-create the kind of experience that those explorer souls would be able to to have and so those are called helper souls and Korea is one of those helper souls who who Korea Korea's so decided to be a helper rather than to be a um, explorer souls and there are some um, I, I wouldn't say that not all helper souls um, will always stay helper. Sometimes there is some um, overlapping. Some souls may want to incarnate and maybe take one or two incarnations so that they can have some idea what the explorer souls have to go through so that they can serve better. And then there are some explorer souls who want to kind of take some time out and just be a, a helper so it's not something that is very strict um there is some fluidity between helper souls and explorer souls however um as far as i've been being told kriya has never taken on a um a physical form as a uh, explorer soul so that's who Kriya is, and Kriya is part of the the Cryon So group. And Cryon takes care of um, dealing, tuning the magnetics of different planets, and so Kriya also does something similar as part of the the Cryon So group. So the the rest of the evening, what I'm going to do is lead everybody into a short meditation. And when the um, when I is able to get a better tune in to Korea, then I would start the channeling. And when the messages and all the energies are, uh, um, whatever it is that needed to be done is done, then the that's the end of the channeling 
um, and then we'll have a question and answer period where I will still be connected to Creer and be able to answer questions if you or anybody have some questions for Creer. So let's begin. Let's begin by just tuning inwards. Turn inwards and start to focus on your own breath. Allow yourself to just breathe in easily and effortlessly. And when you cannot breathe in anymore, just let go. Just breathe out. And continue to follow the breathing in and breathing out. Follow your own rhythm while trying to elongate your breath. Because the more you can elongate your breath, the easier it is for you to relax. Relax your body. Relax your mind as well. So that your mind can slow down. And whatever it is that may be occupying your mind a few minutes ago, just let it all go as much as possible. Just let go. And also start to shift your focus so that you are not focused in your head anymore. Start to shift your focus into your heart. You can think of it as just taking an energetic elevator to go from your head all the way down to your heart. And you naturally feel when your attention is focused in your heart, you naturally feel more relaxed. And naturally your thoughts will start to calm down just by that simple shift in focus to be in your heart. And when you're in your heart, just breathe from your heart. Just imagine that you can breathe in and out through your heart. You can take in energy from your heart. Breathe in and let go. Let go of anything that does not support being in your heart. Any thoughts that come along that takes you out of being in your heart, let it go. And do your best to stay in your heart. and be open to divine energy. So just keep on focusing on your heart and imagine that you can breathe in energy from all different direction and choose to breathe into your heart from Mother Earth. Just imagine that Mother Earth's energy can come in through the soles of your feet all the way up to your heart so that you are linked. Your heart is linked to the heart of Mother Earth. And also imagine that you can breathe in through the top of your head, all the way from the top of your head into your heart, so that you are bringing in energy from above and from below you. Because truly, as spirit, you are everywhere. 
and nowhere at the same time. So start to shift your attention and pretend that you can be everywhere. Pretend that you can actually be a part of your environment. You and your environment are not separate. And you and I are not separate. It may seem like we are separate because we have been taught that we are our body. However, we are way more than this body. We are all around. We are consciousness. And we have created this body this body that we inherit, we inhabit right now. At this moment, we are experiencing this body that we have co-created with Mother Earth. Thank you, Mother Earth, for allowing us and giving us this beautiful experience of being in this body to experience through this body. And this body is part of our co-creation with Mother Earth. And yet we are so much more than this body. You can actually pretend and start to shift your attention to your environment as well so that you can find out about things that your body is not in direct contact with. You can find out about things that your eyes cannot see yet. But because you are more than this body and you can shift your consciousness, you can shift your awareness beyond your body. I know it may not be easy. However, this is something that you can actually start to practice. We are being reawakened. We are being called to go beyond what we know of as regular human being perception. We have been trained for so long to only rely on our five senses. Our sense of sight, our sense of hearing, sense of touch, smell, and taste. But we have actually so much more senses, way more than these five senses. Our senses, which is really our awareness, is so much more and beyond what our body is capable of sensing. Our body right now is waking up to the other senses, 
we actually have a sense of knowing. Knowing without touching, smelling, or seeing, or hearing. We actually can simply know. Because that is actually what is innate within us. When we see light, light allows us to see things. Light allows us to see color. But actually, we can see more than color. Light allows us to see information. Information that is beyond what the color and the shape of an object. We can actually see energy, intention, the intention of energy. And that is intelligence. We have that sense already. It is just that most of the time when we get information about something we see or touch, we get the extra information and we don't know what to do with it. Our mind knows, our mind can decipher those extras information, but it is our consciousness that is not ready to accept these extra information. They are like floaters. Because we don't know we have not been taught how to organize these information, these floating around information. For example, if we look at somebody and all of a sudden we have this feeling of, I don't like this person. Or the opposite, I like this person. Somehow, I feel so close to this person. I simply enjoy being with this person. But this is the first time uh, I've ever met that person. And we have no idea what to do with that information. Maybe because we have been taught to be careful of strangers. And when we have this extra information that we cannot find a logical reason why we have somehow get that information. So we kind of just allow this information to float around our consciousness and we have no idea where this information come from. It's not something that the person say that let me know whether I like this person or not. But this information is actually a knowing. A knowing that we, maybe not our conscious mind, but our body has an intelligence that knows. This is a person that I feel close to, or I sense a danger from. And that is some information that in the past, we have no idea what to do with them. But now, now, we're asking you to start to pay attention to those extra information because your bodies are being reawakened, reawakened to be able to take in information that is beyond our regular five senses. 
some of you already are familiar with these extra senses. Some call them sixth sense, intuition, whatever they are. More and more people will start to have and be able to pick up those kinds of information. And some of them, if they have no idea that this is actually part of their innate ability to be able to pick up these information, they will maybe get scared and distressed. How come when I see this person or when I touch this object, I have these feelings or these memories or just visions or flash. It's a flash of like a picture that comes to mind. How come? It's so illogical. And our logical mind that has been conditioned so well would start to kick out and disown those information. We don't know what to do with them consciously. Well, now you do. Now you know what to do with them. They are your DNA, your body, starting to remember that it has more senses, that it is sensitive to more than just what our five senses can tell us. There is more information. And when some of these extra information comes in, you would know, aha, uh -huh, this information come in as well. This must be important. So let me just put this somewhere on a clipboard. When more of these information about certain people in our lives, or certain objects, or place, and location, we would start to build up these extra information. And these extra information will give us an advantage over those who don't know what to do with them yet. Expect more and more of things like that happening. And when things like that happening, there's no need to doubt your own sanity. You're not going crazy. You did not eat too much curry or spicy food that's upsetting your perception. Not at all. As a matter of fact, your perceptions, your awareness is expanding, expanding beyond what you have always relied on. Those five senses expect six senses to come regularly. Count on them and maybe even expect your seven senses to come as well. So whatever extra information you get, just know that those are probably something important. And stop trying to kick them out of your consciousness. Stop trying to allow them to just float around, but instead start to remember them. Start to expect them. Start to count on them. 
start to experiment how to interpret them. Some may be really obvious and some may be more symbolic. But play with them. Play with these extra information. And the more you acknowledge them, the more your unconscious mind know that you're ready to handle them. Because your unconscious mind has always been aware that they are there. And it's just that because you don't know how to deal with them. And maybe in the past, you have actually been scared of them, scared of receiving these. So your unconscious mind actually has been screening them out of your awareness, trying to hide them. We are very good at missing information that we are not ready to incorporate and integrate into our consciousness. We are notoriously good at that. That's why the more you acknowledge these extra information from beyond your five senses, the more you give signal to your conscious mind that you're ready. You're ready to see more of them. You're ready to process and integrate his information. And the more you keep an open mind on these extra senses, these extra information, the more they become normal. The more you'll be able to rely on them and also be able to see beyond the obvious. Wouldn't it be interesting to be able to touch a book and be able to get the information without even reading that book, be able to get the information that is most useful for you at this time just by touching a book. This is something that you may not be able to do right away. However, if you allow your awareness to expand, expand beyond just your eyes, expand beyond your ears listening to something, Expand beyond your touch to get all these extra information in. How much easier life would get when you don't even have to learn speed reading. All you have to do is place your hand on the book, on the book that has, that is about a topic that you're interested in, when you can just touch that book and be able to get the information that you most needed from that book in this moment. That is coming. Look for them, allow them to start to be integrated. Expand your awareness. And know that even though right now your experience is confined to this body that you inhabit, that your soul inhabit. And these five senses, but your consciousness is not bound by this body. It's not limited and that you can actually shift your consciousness to outside your body. You can actually 
be able to listen in on conversation that your body is nowhere near. It is maybe not something that you can do right now, but there are actually people who have been trained to get information. They call it remote viewing. That they can actually go and send their awareness to places that is nowhere near their own physical body, maybe not even in the same time frame because we are unlimited. We can go to any point in history, whether it is back in time or forward in time, we can go anywhere, out in space, or all the way within ourselves and be able to find out what's going on. Those are not actually things that we, that is out of the realm of possibility. There are already people who can do this. It is just that it is something that few people are gifted to be able to do. But everyone can be trained to start to do more of that. And the more you allow yourself to do that, be open to the possibility of being able to do that, the easier it becomes. At the moment, it's going to take effort. However, in the not too distant future, more people would be able to do this without too much training, without too much practicing. They would just be spontaneously be able to tap into information in the ether. They'll actually be able to look at energy and just go to the level of energy to where that information is being stored and just retrieve that information. the more our DNA start to open up, to start to expand beyond the confines of our physical body, the easier it is that we can tap into all that extra information. Yes. Your body is beautiful and it is an amazing piece of technology. However, beyond your body though, consciousness is so magnificent. beyond this body where your consciousness and your awareness can start to expand beyond any horizon, beyond time and space. It is only your mind, only because your mind has been boxed in for such a long time that right now it is hard. 
it is not easy for you to free yourself, to free your awareness. And we are asking you now that it is time to remember and it is time to start to get comfortable to allow for that to happen. To respect your body and also know that you exist beyond your body. And when you can flow easily within your body and allow your awareness to flow around your body or anywhere in the cosmos, in the universe, to free your consciousness and your awareness beyond. That is when you can start to grow your consciousness at a much faster rate. And we will help if this is what you desire to do. Just breathe it in. Breathe in now. And just give intention if that is what you wish. Give intention that you want to free your awareness to explore beyond your current confines of your consciousness. To start to welcome in extra senses, extra information, and to allow your consciousness to start to expand and be able to process these different information. When you give intention, your higher self would know what to do to help you start to take away the roadblocks, take away the mental barrier that you have set up long time ago and start to remember that you know how to do this because you have existed as a limitless awareness way longer than you have existed as who you think you are right now in this body. If you give intention to be able to perceive beyond your body to perceive beyond local time and space, to allow your awareness to start to expand. And your higher self will be able to start to work with your unconscious mind to start to clear away, clear away the walls and the roadblocks that you have set in your mind. but only if you are ready for this. And it is okay 
to not be ready. It is all up to you. You are the one in charge. But whether you are ready or not, we want you to know that this is available to you. Not to the special few, but to each and every one of you, this is available. And that you will only perceive what it is that you are ready to perceive. Your soul and your higher self is always in charge. You may think that your mind is in charge, but it is actually your soul that is in charge to arrange for these different experiences different synchronicities to happen. So follow, follow the lead of your soul, follow the lead of your higher self and do not be afraid. Process this fear, this fear of the unknown because in truth nothing is unknown if you really know who you are you will know that you are limitless there is nothing that can limit you, no box, no prison, nothing that can limit your soul, except that which your soul has deemed that you're not ready to process yet. So you can Start to feel safe, to feel safe that your soul is always in charge, always, always in charge. And your soul would arrange for these synchronicities to start to happen, to guide you towards the path of least resistance for you to grow your awareness, grow your consciousness. So relax now, relax and simply know that whatever happens is all happening out of love. Out of unconditional love for you in the universe. Beyond words, feel the energy. Feel this energy that we have co-created together.
Do you feel this energy? Do you feel the expansion of your heart space? Do you feel this invisible energy that surrounds you? Do you feel the all that energy that is circulating between us even though we are miles apart that this energy is beyond space and time. No matter where you are, no matter when you listen to this, feel this energy that is going to heal you and also to remind you that you are more, way more than who you believe you are right now. Even if you don't believe this, it is still true. So let us use this opportunity during this time that we spend together let all this be a reminder, be an initiation, an initiation into your own mystery, into your own magnificence. It is not our doing. We can't do that. We can't give you what you don't already have. All we can do is remind you, remind you that you are way more than who you think you are, who you believe you are. And we do not judge who you think you are or who you believe you are. That is your choice. All we want to do is just remind you that you are more and that you are not out of line if you want to be more and expand your awareness to be way more than your physical body, way more than this time and space because you are limitless, timeless. You are everywhere. And we thank you for allowing us this opportunity to be with you and to remind you to be of service to you by this reminder, by giving you a taste of the mystery and the magnificence of who you truly are. You are the most magnificent and brilliant light. Some may call you angel. You truly are that. For you all are angelic beings having a human experience. You have created this human vessel, this human stories, 
all your creation and you are experiencing your own creation. That is all. But we see you as brilliant beings of angelic light. And we are humbled by your brilliance, humbled by your spirit. And we love you and thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.